another year, another lovely guest. We have Gracie Kramer on Bruin Banter. But wait, I hope you're not sick of me just yet because I will be one of your hosts. Gracie, where's Holly? Oh, you didn't get the memo? Oh, 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 wait, no, I did you? Jay? Jay? Who? Where? Jay! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody. I am co-hosting with Peng Peng Lee on Bruin Banter. Woohoo! Now that we're all here, welcome to the first episode of Bruin, Bruin Banter. Banter. We are very excited to report that we won our season opener against Ohio State. Yes, yes. Snaps for that. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go into a very quick meet recap. So the Bruins started off on vault. What's it? You know, what we've been practicing. It was a, definitely a little, a little bit of a struggle, but we do want to give a shout out to Nia Dennis because she is a freshman who came out strong and started off the Bruins very well at our home meet. And she definitely practices like that every day. And on bars, Kyla Ross came out and hit a solid 9-9 routine. I honestly thought she was gonna get a 10, but you know. And then on the balance beam, Grace Glenn, for the first time ever competing off the shoulder injury of last year, meet her for the first time in Poly Pavilion, and she did a great routine. She's super clean. I'm super excited to see her throughout this season, too. Honestly, so I got so emotional I know, me too. just watching her because so it's, been, it's been a long road, especially with her injuries and stuff like that. So I'm so proud of her. Good job, Good job Grace. Grace. <laughs> <laughs> and on floor, we rocked it. Let Killed me tell it. you, this girl right here, career high on floor, which was amazing. 9-9, nine, nine, one of the best routines I've ever seen you do. And it was just, it was so fun. Honestly, like the second I finished too, like so many emotions just came over me and I kind of teared up a little bit. But the second everyone ran to me, I just realized like I kind of got my mojo back and I really missed performing out on floor. So that was huge for me. And I couldn't have done it without you guys. Aww. You've been consistently practicing on floor too, so yeah. how has your training changed from last year? I think because we started training routines and full like passes really so early. We honestly started doing it like spring quarter. Yeah. Like I got my floor passes. We started passes. early. We were preparing. Yeah. And then over the summer I worked my butt off. I made sure to get in the best shape possible and train as hard as I could and that's paid off luckily and I noticed a lot in the gym. and. Everyone else seems to be doing the same thing, and we're definitely on the same wavelength, so that's helped a lot too. I've definitely seen that in you as I well, do. and this like, you're like the mother hen of the freshmen. Can you talk <laughs> about that a little bit? It started with Nia. She came over orientation, because she's from Chicago. When she came and stayed with me, because her flight came in like three days early, um, we just really bonded, and I don't know, just being able to show love to those girls, and being able to show them around and help them with anything, like. I just, I really get a lot of satisfaction from it and I just feel like I'm contributing to the team in a way that is not particularly in the gym and just being in an apartment too and um, being able to kind of like be an adult. I think I've started thriving a little bit. I've really, up a lot. I really like that kind of environment and just being on my own because my mom kind of holocaust her parents me a little bit <laughs> when I was younger. I've been a little sheltered, hey. but um, I've gotten really into like nutrition and meal prep and stuff like that. So I've, I've really put like my passion into almost all aspects of life. So that's been a huge change. Well, you, you've grown up so much inside and outside the gym and I feel like you taking responsibility of your meals and your own life, you've definitely segued that into the gym too. Yeah. And I, I just want you to talk more about how you've changed your mindset. I think uh, a little spark went off um, in the spring, this past like spring quarter. Uh, I really like saw a lot of potential in myself when I realized, you know, obviously season didn't go as planned and didn't go as well as I had hoped. And um, it was all me and I realized I really held myself back. And it was, it came with a lot of like self-confidence issues and really thinking like, I'll kind of do whatever I was recruited to do, but I'm not gonna, like, I'm not capable of doing anything more. Mm -hmm. So because I was recruited for vault, I kind of <coughs> just thought that that was my limit and that was my, 
my ceiling and that was as far as I was gonna go. But um, really taking ownership of my life, like realizing that just because I'm a walk-on doesn't mean I can't do everything that other, the other girls on scholarship are doing. And I know like Janae was one of my biggest idols and seeing her <laughs> earn a scholarship her last year has been a huge inspiration for me. And I realized that yeah. I'm so much more capable than I think I am. And really just like taking that and turning my life around with school even too, and being on top of my schoolwork has <clears throat> just helped immensely because it's eliminated so much stress and panic throughout <laughs> the day. <laughs> Cause I used to be so much more disorganized, but my mom got me a little special planner. Oh, and that's cute. I have a calendar oh. up in my room, and I'm not a huge like planner, and I, you know, Ping isn't either, so yeah. we we can relate. But um, I've had lots of life talks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm for sure a planner, but that definitely just shows how much you've matured just over a year. Like, wow, I'm so proud. But I want to go back to the meet really quick. We didn't start off on vault very strong. Mm -hmm. Um, we had two falls and you were one of them and I was curious to know like what your mindset was going through the meet and going into floor because you still had one more event mm -hmm. and you could have very easily let vault affect you in a negative way but you didn't because that was the best floor routine I've ever seen you do. What was going through your mind? Yeah. Like, <laughs> I know I've honestly it's it's been kind of a surreal experience just because I've been waiting for that moment for so long and I've been training so hard for it. So I've really been like processing it for the past few days. But um, <laughs> when I went on vault, I definitely, I think I just like got a little rattled because I was overthinking it and I got my head and I honestly just thought, okay, I just gotta make this vault. And yeah. obviously that's not the right mindset that you wanna get. You wanna be like, okay, I wanna get 10, you right, know? Right, exactly. And I definitely remember my senior year of high school, I, did th I had that thought and I had that mindset, like I wanna get a 10 this year, I have to get a 10 this year. That mindset has gotten me so far and so I think grasping that mindset again and knowing that I, have, I can have that kind of confidence. I've trained, right. I've done all the training behind me to mm -hmm. prepare me. And so the second I fell, I got up and I was like, usually I have like, a little bit of an attitude and I, was, I get I, I was like very angry and I don't even think I was really sad I was more just like can I go again because I, yeah. I, I knew right, it right. and that second time I was like I know I can do it now and like I just needed to needed to get it back out there so having the opportunity to go back out there and really kind of erase the vault with floor was I was like that, this is God's opportunity for me like I need to take advantage of this second chance really to show everyone what I'm capable of and show everyone what I, what I mean to do this year. Obviously, we're, we're lights out on floor and I just wanted to be a part of that and I really wanted to make a statement that I mean business this year and yes. that I, I think my team deserves better from me. This week, the Bruins are off to Reno, Nevada and we leave Friday and we'll be competing on Sunday. For a Pac-12 showdown against us, Washington, Stanford and Utah. If you're in Reno, Nevada area, uh, we hope to see you there in the crowd cheering us on. Make, it's at 2 p.m., so make sure you put in your phone, write it in your agenda. If I uh, put it in my calendar, you better put it in your planner. Everyone should have an agenda. <laughs> 2 p.m. And see you next week on the next episode of Bruin Banter. Banter.